What's your target? If you were to take a bullseye with, with say, four rings, what's in the very center? What is it that you're going after? Years ago, I went to an event with one of my mentors, and he was asking us that very question. And some people were saying, oh, I don't want to be so anxious and stressed. Others were saying, I, I need to make more money, or my, my health is really causing me problems. I, I can't seem to sustain a healthy relationship. Various answers of what they wanted to achieve based on the weekend we were spending with him. And while he said all of those were valuable effects that we were going after, they weren't causes. And that instead, what we really were looking for is who we needed to be to have those things happen for us. And so what's focused on comes to fruition. This is your second of nine subconscious laws on how to make success sticky. Whether you're working with a healingpreneur or you're working on yourself. Although I will say that when you work with someone else, that's when growth takes place because we cannot grow outside of a relationship with someone else. But then the law of polarity says that also holds true on the other side, that it is relationships with others that actually cause us to decay. So what's focused on comes to fruition is basically telling you, are you fighting from a place for victory or from victory? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, two different things. So let's take those four circles uh, on your bullseye, on your target, and let's turn them on their side to where it's three-dimensional, and you actually have four different levels. So it's like a, a round pyramid. And at the very top is your heart. Now, I'm not talking about your emo emotions and feelings. I'm talking about the heart of who you really are who your higher power designed you to be. It's at the very top. Now, it's to be guarded. Not that you have walls built around it, but that it should be like a, a vault where precious and priceless pieces of you are kept. And, and this is what your higher power has designed you to be. What is the best way for someone to take that away from you? Is it for them to break in and steal it? No, because then they'd have to climb to the top and they'd actually have to be more powerful than your higher power in order to steal it, what, what you've been given. No, that the easiest way is to distract you from realizing that's who you really are, to keep you focused on the lower levels, for people to give you bags of their trash and then say, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to watch you climb up trying to drag all of this with you. And that, that's a really hard climb. I know, I did it for decades. Instead, start at the very top. Say, okay, what's brilliant about me? What are, what are my incredible aspects? And now, now let me walk it down to the physical level and use my brilliance on these areas uh, for my environment, for what I want to physically manifest. Let me walk it down to the emotional level and say, yeah, I can experience some challenging emotions, but how am I going to actually optimize them? You know, the anxiety won't necessarily go away, but you can turn it into 
overperformance in bringing out your brilliance because you're always going to overperform. That's just the way it is. So instead, we want to put boundaries around it that are healthy to say, okay, this is the way that uh, I'm going to overperform in this area to make the world a better place because I'm better in it. Walking down those aspects of you that are absolutely genius into the mental level and going, okay, what is it here that we, we want to bring out more of? Light never fights to overcome the dark. It just shines its brilliant self. So we're told in one of the greatest manuals on personal development and growth that there is in my faith system, which is the Bible, that once you've done everything you can to stand for victory, doesn't say fight for victory. It says the battle belongs to your higher power. Once you've done everything to stand for victory, Continue to stand. Stand at the top where the peak is and say, I can walk down to these levels to see what needs to be fine tuned. But what I focus on comes to fruition. I'm not saying that there aren't wounded parts of you. I have been betrayed in ways that I thought I would never recover from. Well, I could put all my time and effort into trying to get healed, get to healing. And what I discovered is that it, it was so exhausting that the healing process itself, it, it felt like, as my mom likes to say, uh, two steps forward, five steps back. And then I'm like, well, but what if I already have that healing. What would that look like? And that actually allowed me to do something known as spiraling up to the intelligence areas of my brain, which is what we want to access in order to live a high quality life based on who we really are. So what if I already had that healing? What would I do physically, emotionally, and mentally? that I'm not doing now. So what is focused on comes to fruition. I, I will say that um, people will go, well, I, I've had expectations that I've focused on and others have let me down so I don't have expectations anymore. So what you're then saying to your powerful subconscious, don't bother because they're gonna continue to let us down. Instead, we can go, okay, um, you know what? Maybe my expectations weren't high enough. Oh, because we want to come from those higher intelligence levels. Whenever I have a client work with me and I ask them to follow through on a plan of action that we mutually agree upon, and then they come back and they're like, okay, well, you know, didn't follow all the way through. And I'm like, okay, well, evidently, that's because it wasn't challenging enough for you. So we're going to up the expectation because I know that there's more to you. And they're like, what? If I couldn't do it before, what makes me think I could do it now? It's like, well, because you're battling from the bottom to try to get to the top. Let's reverse it. What's already waiting for you in your heart? Who are you really? That leads to some very interesting conversations on what can be accomplished, on what can be achieved. So the subconscious always looks to get to the target. So you can either focus on the effects or get to the cause. And the cause is your brilliance your magnificence. It's what your higher power has placed within you. It's calling out to you what's precious, what's valuable, what's unique. Bring that 
to your everyday experience. Stand on that and watch the mental, emotional, and physical levels below that then begin to operate in a way where your success actually flows. We're told all issues of life flow from our heart. So your success actually flows instead of the exhausting journey of trying to fight your way up. If I can assist you with this, I'd be honored. Until we get together again, enjoy the journey of discovering who you really are.